Hello everybody, in today's video we are going to be doing a Minecraft. This is my very first LEGO Minecraft set on this channel and I'm telling you it's not going to be the last. I wasn't too interested in it because Minecraft is very blocky and it also is not very complicated. You get a lot of, you know, traditional type of pieces and not anything that's hard to get or anything like that. Um, but I have to say, after building this, I really, really liked it and I got some more. So you guys can expect some more LEGO Minecraft very, very soon. So this is the Lego Minecraft The Farm set. It's 262 pieces, it's model 21114 and it's rated for ages 8 and up. You can see we get some minifigures too, we get Steve, we get a skeleton, we get the cow and the sheep. Now I wouldn't really consider the cow and the sheep minifigures as they're put together with traditional Lego pieces, aside from the head pieces which are uh, shaped differently, I think specifically for this, and they have the faces printed on as well. On the back of the box, we can see some of the playability here. We've got, um, you know, how you can set up Steve. We got just the, the whole thing as in general, showing some of the things about it. Most of it is uh, showing Steve in the different positions you can put him in here. He's chasing a, uh, a skeleton, obviously, with the pumpkin head. So this is a very blocky set, just like Minecraft is. So I really like that they kept up with that and didn't go too technical with it. Um, you can see here that we've got the skeleton and uh, he actually came with an extra arm and an extra leg. I'm not sure why he did that, but, but that's what it came with. And also we have Steve here, as you can see, he is digging in the garden. Um, lots of different things, we've got lots of plants and all sorts of things. We've got some torches up here, and this water actually runs all the way from up here, down here, splashes over this rock on each side, and then down into the pool. It also comes with a chest as well, and you can open this up, and inside is some food. Here we have a fence that holds in the cow and the sheep and the doors open for playability. This set didn't take too long for me to put together either. It's a pretty fairly simple set. In fact, I put it together and I filmed a review which I think was better than the one I'm doing now and then I deleted the footage by accident so I actually had to put it back together because I'd already taken it apart and put it back in the box. So it actually didn't take too long to put back together at all. So this is a skeleton minifigure, and I think it looks really cool. You can see right through him, they did a good job with his ribs and everything, and of course he's wheeling his bow and arrow so he can attack Steve. And uh, it looks really, really nice. It's very solid. And one thing I got confused about the first time I put it together was these arms can actually go on two different ways. So you can actually have one bending inwards and then one going straight. So I think that's really cool that you can interchange that. And this is the minifigure for Steve. As you can see, he's got purple pants, he has a blue shirt, big blocky head, and also you can see that on the top of his shirt, it's the same color as skin, so I'm guessing that his top button is probably undone. And of course, he's got his shovel. This is the sheep minifigure. They, I guess they call it a minifigure. It's got these uh, type of blocks on the bottom that simulate legs if you look at it from a certain angle. And we've also got one on the front, and it's a very basic little sheep. And this is the cow minifigure, as you can see, he's got the same type of head here, he's got the same type of feet, except they match the body color, and he's a spotted white and brown cow, and they've even put a pink piece underneath to uh, simulate what a real cow looks like. The cow is obviously bigger than the sheep, because cows are bigger than sheep. So that is the LEGO Minecraft The Farm. It's a quick review, there's not a whole lot to say about it. I mean, you can pretty much see all the pieces you're getting just by the way there's, there's no internal hidden stuff on the bottom. It's basically just a bunch of, you know, a bunch of blocks just to, to keep everything level and stuff. But for this set, I think it's pretty good for the price and also you get a lot of good traditional blocky pieces and also some plates which are good for building and stuff like that too. So there's a lot of useful pieces on here. Um, more useful pieces than the hard to find pieces which can be I guess hard to put into your own build sometimes so I'm very satisfied with this and I got some more of this as well coming up for you and uh, I did do a time-lapse stop you know stop motion time-lapse type of video for this if you'd like to watch it you can click the upper left link at the end of this video so thanks for watching guys and I will see you on my next video